Welcome to my Gothic crochet items video. I got into crochet quite recently. I'm still a newbie. I think in March of this year, March 2021, I got into crochet. And these are just some of the projects that I've been working on. So all of the patterns I've found so far are free patterns. So I'll find them and I'll link them below in case you're interested as well. And I'll link the, the tools, the kit I got, because I got a starter kit to get me started and I'll link that below as well. So this is Little Ghost. <laughs> it is pretty cute, I think. I had to I did the I redid this so many times. I I read the pattern completely wrong when I was doing it. And this is quite a straightforward pattern. I would recommend this if you're a beginner as well. Because it's fun, but you know you get to make your mistakes and then you learn from them. And this was a fun one to make mistakes on. It isn't a Halloween or a spooky one, but it's a cute little bee. That I made. It's got some cute little wings. I'm pretty happy with this but again I've messed up because on the bottom I haven't matched up the stripes. You can see it's it's crooked but little bee's pretty cute anyway. So yeah the song for bee. But the next one I'm super proud of. So this is a Nightmare Before Christmas crocheted blanket. So it's but it's quite it's quite little and again there are some mistakes. Um, but that's okay, you know, this was a big project for me, and I'm really happy with how it came out. So along the edges, there's these black and white uh, trimmings, or not trimmings, but some flowy bits along the edges. There's some it's a bit rough in the corners, but you can't really tell when it's out like this. And I just think this one's pretty damn cute. I just, I like, I, I made it purely for aesthetics. And uh, yeah, I love it. It sits on, on the chair in the lounge room and um, it's really cute. And this was also, this was really fun to crochet. Like obviously I've made mistakes, but to put all this together wasn't too hard because you basically just did one of these squares or here, one of these granny squares. So this is one. And then you just did that like 20 times. So you do one that had the white and the black one that was just black and then you'd repeat each 10 times and then it told you how to the pattern told you how to put them all together it was a really great pattern as well i highly recommend this one it was really fun to make and um i'm really happy with how it came out this was took maybe a month um yeah my wrist is getting pretty sore <laughs> my most recent project was this uh like a satanic coat um this one's pretty cute. I also made mistakes here, but that's okay. The pattern on this one was a bit clunky to follow. I found it pretty difficult, but I think we got there in the end. So yeah, the head's a bit floppy. Um, I should have strengthened it a bit more uh, when I was attaching it on. And yeah, I, I just, adorable. I love this. And you, you could do this one in whatever colors you want and it would still be cute. So. I'm really happy with this. Nose, there's a few imperfections. So the nose actually, the I don't think the pattern for the nose was fully there. So I had to kind of wing it and try it myself, which turned out okay. Like I did it a few times because I just couldn't understand what was being written. So I kind of just went with it. And also I really struggled doing the, the pentagram on the, on the head as well. I had to redo that over and over again, but got there in the end. So yeah. So I got into this because I purchased these two really cute crochet, I can even just feel these are a lot more well made. Um, I purchased these from Forbidden Crochet on Etsy, incredible, I absolutely think these are adorable and uh, such amazing crafts, craftsmanship, craftswomanship and yeah this was pretty much what, what, wanted, what made me want to get into crochet because I just saw how cute these were. And I have so many dolls. I love dolls. I'm obsessed with them. And I just wanted to make my own little spooky gothic creatures to hang around the house as decor. So yeah, really, really, really cute. So check these out as well. I basically got this little kit here. Um, so it comes with a lot of different crochet hooks. So it's got all these different ones in different si hook sizes and I don't think I ran into a pattern where they asked for a hook that wasn't here and I also haven't had any difficulties using these so this was a pretty inexpensive kit 
but also it came with something that when I was purchasing it I had no idea what they were didn't know what they were used for so there's these humongous darning needles so it's big enough to fit a um, bit of yarn through and it comes with a few of them it also comes with these I can't remember what they're called yarn markers stitch markers so again it comes with heaps of these also got this a uh, bit of measuring tape as well and everything just fits nicely inside this little bag and I can zip this up and I have taken this away for me away from home on a mini trip away and it was just so 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 easy love it so I'll link everything in the description below and I'll also link the video series that I got started watching that really helped me to learn crochet from the complete basics and then basically I just whenever I, I just got stuck into a pattern and whenever I found something that didn't make sense I just find another YouTube video for it I'd watch it like a billion times on repeat until it sort of made sense and uh, then I'd go from there so it's been really fun just to just to have a hobby like this yeah I hope you enjoyed and I hope you enjoy my spooky little gothic creatures so if you did enjoy this video please like and please subscribe so thanks so much for watching